at the threat of arms, King Kalakaua was forced to sign a new constitution. I would call this a real baseball town and a real baseball state. And Honolulu was a place to play ball. Yeah. We wouldn't have the game of baseball if it weren't for Cartwright. Here is a new constitution. If you don't sign it, we will rebel. That is what led to the final overthrow of her. Baseball, part of plantation paternalism. So they were able to advance themselves socially and economically because of, of their baseball abilities. The anti-Japanese movement, this is a long-term movement, began in Hawaii in the early 1900s. Everybody was very aware of what's going to happen if there's a war. People like Joe DiMaggio and Ted Williams, players of that quality, having the opportunity to play in the Hawaii Baseball League. So I think you start to see uh, the beginnings of modern Hawaii from 1959 on. But of course, we, we look back, we can see that this process was, was already going on for years. It's a game that, for us, you know, uh, it's almost like going to church.